Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some classic yet affordable handbags. A couple of criteria for choosing bags for this video is one, affordability factor, obviously. I didn't wanna pick anything super cheap and really bad quality, but also nothing that's like exorbitantly expensive, so thousands and thousands of dollars. It's sort of in that mid-range price point where you've still got quality, but they're still affordable. And then I've also chosen bags or bag brands that I think are quite classic and timeless, so nothing really trend-driven, stuff that you can buy and wear for a few years, really get your money's worth, but also things that are versatile and and that can go with lots of outfits. Also, before we get right into it, I just wanted to mention on a personal note, uh, I got Invisalign. I got my first tray two days ago now, I think. And the whole point of Invisalign is you're not supposed to notice that somebody has it, like it's supposed to be clear and you're supposed to not know that they ever have like braces or Invisalign in their mouth. But I have this crazy lisp going on, like I this sound a little bit like Cindy Brady. Hopefully the lisp isn't too distracting, the lisp. Who decided that the word lisp was gonna have an S in it? Like that is seriously rude. Let's get into it. The first brand I'm gonna mention is Michael Kors. And that is because my everyday bag that I use like le legit every day is a Michael Kors bag. <sighs> Here she is. I got this bag from an outlet mall in Nashville, the, the Opry. The Grand Ole Opry is the one that's across from the Grand Ole Opry, that outlet mall. This bag was extremely inexpensive and I legit wear it every day, especially in the spring and summer. I like to accessorize with white in the warmer months, like white sandals, white bag, and it is really cute, really practical because it's the dome shape. And these dome shape handbags actually like they're very deceptively hold a lot of stuff in them the only thing is because it is white it does get a little bit grubby sometimes so i just get one of those white magic erasers you know those things i think they're meant to clean your bathroom probably shouldn't be using it on the bag but i just wet it and sort of go over it um very lightly because i don't want to you know discolor the bag but it takes a lot of the dirt off so that's a good idea if you have a white handbag and yes, I think Michael Kors is a really great place to check out. Not all of their stuff, like some of their stuff is a little bit much, a little bit gaudy even <laughs> with the Michael Kors all over it. But if you can find something nice and simple like this, the next bag that you might want to check out is from Furla and it is the Furla Metropolis bag. Furla is a little bit more on the expensive side of the spectrum of this video, but they have really good sales, especially the Black Friday sales. Both of the bags that I have from Furla have been purchased on Black Friday. I can't speak, I'm so sorry. They've been purchased on Black Friday. And so I feel like if you get a Furla bag in a sale, then it sort of justifies the price because the quality is really, really nice. I would say that the Furla Metropolis style is one of their most classic styles. This is a larger version. They have lots of different sizes as well. So you can get mini Metropolises, then there's sort of like your regular size, and then you can get a larger size. Because it is sort of this rectangle shape, it doesn't really hold as much as a dome bag or maybe a camera bag shape would. So keep that in mind. It actually is kind of like the opposite of a dome bag in terms of like like you actually, you think it would hold more than it does, if that makes sense, because it's very slim. But I find it holds all of my stuff when I need to go. I'll even put like a small vlogging camera in here and you can fit it in there. So, but this is the larger size, obviously. The next brand to check out is Cambridge Satchel Company. This is a UK brand and they make satchel bags, you would have guessed from <laughs> the brand name, which is a very classic style of bag, especially if you're going for that old school preppy or academic style. Like I'm really into dark academia and also light academia. Just made a video on that. So a satchel bag is just perfect for that look. They make their satchel bags in all sorts of colors and different sizes. So you could really go crazy on there finding a satchel bag that you want. I personally would probably go for something in a medium brown, just very classic because it does give those academic vibes. That way it could swing towards summer, like light academia outfits and then also the dark academia outfits in the colder months. And satchel bags just by their very nature are just very practical bags to own. I mean, they are school bags and university bags. So they're to hold a lot of books and papers and everything that you need for the day. So it's a very practical bag to own. Okay, moving on, another really great affordable brand of bags is Longchamp. 
I would just say long champ, long champ, long champ. And in particular, their most popular bag is the Le Pliage. I'm just butchering this whole thing. Le Pliage. Oh, that sounded fancy. That sounded like it was how you're supposed to say it. And this is a very famous bag that they started making in the 90s and it hasn't dropped in popularity since then. The Le Pliage bag is a nylon tote bag that has leather trimming so you are able to pack it up and fold it up. And if you get this in a very classic color, you could do it black, a brown, or even like a dusty rose pink. That would look really cute. The next company that you might wanna check out for a tote bag is called Barrington Gifts. And they are known for their St. Anne tote in particular. This brand is really fun because you can personalize and customize all of your bags. You can choose different patterns for the actual body of the bag and then different leather trimmings. And then you can get your monogram on there. It's just really fun. They also have a collaboration going with a designer called Caitlin Wilson. And I just love all of her stuff. She mainly does homewares like wallpapers and pillows and rugs and all those th like interior stuff. They put her patterns onto the Barrington tote bags and oh, I love them so much. And I always do love a little bit of a monogram. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the next bag brand I found, I actually found them on Instagram. They popped up one day, I think on my explore page. And I was like, mm, hi, you're a bit cute. This is another UK brand. They're called Johnny Loves Rosie. And they do that camera bag style, which is like the dome bags, really spacious inside. You can hold a lot of stuff but uh, they really stood out to me because you can customize different straps and also have these really cute bow keychain things that you can pop onto your bag and really change up the look. The next place to check out for affordable bags is Draper James. And this is actually Reese Witherspoon's brand. They make really Southern, preppy, feminine, lots of like gingham, magnolias. I love this brand. I have had my eye on this wicker bag for a long time with a pink gingham tie. Ah, oh, it's adorable. The next bag is from another brand that I found on Instagram and the brand is called Pollen and I'm pretty sure they're Parisian. The whole idea behind this brand is to have like designer level quality, but not the designer price point. And all of the bags are super classic, but I like this bag in particular, they make lots of different colors in all their bags, which I appreciate. My sister Pierre has had her eye on this bag she's not sure if she wants the emerald or the burgundy color. I'm leaning towards a burgundy because I just feel like it would go with a lot more. As much as I love green, I just feel like a burgundy would be easier to style in the long run. And then lastly, I did want to mention, if you do have your heart set on a designer bag, but the, the, the bank account ain't there, honey, definitely check out places like Vestia Collective and also The Real Real. That's where people resell their bags. And these places have an authentication team, like they check all of the bags. If and when I decide to get a designer bag, I would probably buy one secondhand. Like, I don't see why not, if it's good quality, if it's all checked out and also environmentally too, like, why not? And there you go, those are some classic and affordable handbags. If you did enjoy today's video, please remember to give it a like. And then also subscribe if you would like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you next week in my next video. Bye-bye.